Without a doubt, 2016 will be a crucial year for China's space program. I'm talking about Tiangong-2, the country's second orbiting space lab, the Shenzhou-11 spacecraft, which will carry two astronauts to dock with the new station. The next generation Long March 7 rocket, which has already made its debut in Hainan three months ago, the Beidou navigation satellites and the Gaofeng Earth observation satellites, basically intensive space missions which we have never seen before. For those who have been following China's space program, they must be very familiar with the rocket right next to me, the Long March 2F orbital carrier rocket with a payload of eight and a half metric tons. The Tiangong-2 space lab is sitting on the top of it. This 58 meter tall rocket has been vertically assembled, tested, and today, as we speak, is being transported to the launch pad. The vertical transportation procedure kicks starts at half past eight this morning. The rocket moves on a 20 meter wide rail track with a maximum speed of 20 meters per minute. It could take about one hour to complete the 1,500 meter journey to the launch pad. Engineers at the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center told us they have tested the rocket and the space lab as much as they could in the assembly building to ensure the functionalities before they were sent out to the launch pad where the working environment is less suitable for technical examinations. Built as a backup to Tiangong-1, the Tiangong-2 space lab is similar in size to the previous station launched in 2011. However, having an increased uh, payload capacity, the new station will utilize the improved living conditions to verify key technologies. And once the vertical transportation procedure completes, it is ready to take China's space program into a new era. Guanyang CCTV, Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center.